Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous videos we are developing the report which is making use of new syntaxes. So we developed three reports. In the first report we used for all entries in. In the second report, yes, we completely use the join. In the third report, we used the join also. We used the for all entries in also. And wherever possible, we make use of the new syntaxes. Now we will go for one important change into first and third program. Now, what we will do, firstly, we will recap and then we will come on to the point. Just see, we are using value operator. Value operator is a replacement of append internal table operation. And with the help of value, you can insert that data to internal table. Previously, previously I showed you if I am using value, with this value operator with the internal table directly, then what happened in our current scenario? Firstly, first record is coming and it will go to our output internal table. But whenever next record is coming, it will overwrite the previous record and we have only the new record in the internal table. But that was not our requirement. The previous records should remain as it is. Then what we did at that point of time, with the help of value operator, we pass the data to work area. And from work area, we appended that data to internal table using append internal table operation. Because if we are using the value operator inside the loop using the for this particular internal table, the previous data is getting overridden. So, but what we made the solution at that point of time, we'll pass the data to work area. And from work area, we will append it to internal table. Now we will replace this also. With the help of value operator only, we will insert that data to the internal table directly. Now many people will think, we already show the demo. We already seen the demo in the previous videos. If we are going for directly internal table here, previous data is overridden. Then how, how we can directly use the value operator here? The solution is we will use base in value expression or value operator. If we are using base with the value expression, if we are using base with the value expression, the previous data will not overwrite and new data will be added after that. And I added a dedicated video for the use of base in value expression after the value expression topic. You can listen that video also. So what is the purpose of base in value expression? When we do not want to overwrite the existing data, you can use base in the value expression. And it is clearly saying it is very, very useful in loops whenever we want to append that data to target internal table. Because whenever in the loops you want to append that data to target internal table, you do not want to overwrite the existing record. You are going for all the data to the target internal table. So at that time, you can use base in the value expression. So now there's no need to go for append. We will go for simply base in the value expression. So if someone asks you, yes, where you use base in the value expression, how it is useful, the simple answer is if we are only using value expression and the previous data, if the previous data is there, it will be overridden by the new data. But yes, we have the scenarios in which we want the previous data should be as it is. So in that case, we will simply, simply use base in the value expression. So what I will do now, I will show you by that way that we will directly use the internal table in value expression 
but using base space because we do not want to overwrite the existing data. Now, I will not pass the data to work area. We will directly pass the data to internal table. Now, if you will go by this syntax only, it will not fulfill your requirement. It will simply, simply overwrite the existing data. So now, suppose I am commenting this also because now there is no need for append because we will use base with value expression. So how I will write here? Base and I will give the name of the internal table. Now people will ask, what is this internal table? Whatever the internal table you will pass with base, it will act as a initial value for target internal table. Just see how it will work. Suppose we have the first record. First record will go into this target internal table. Next time, whatever this is same internal table we used as a base here. Now this internal table has one record. So this internal table will act as a initial value for this internal table. And after that system will go for the second record. It means first record is as it is. So whenever you are specifying the base table, whatever the base internal table you are specifying, it will act as the initial values for the target internal table. This is our target internal table. Whenever, suppose now second iteration. Now this base internal table has two records. So these two will act as the initial values. And after that, we have the third record. So this is the solution simply. Now we completely replaced. Now we are not using append at all. You can simply use base in the value expression. Now I will simply, simply write this logic here also. In the flag part also. And we are directly using the internal table. Okay. Now we will comment this part. There is no need for clearing the work area also. There was work area here also, LWA output. When I practiced, I removed that. So you can also remove that because now we are not using work area. So you can remove that. So I'm putting and removing and show. So now I will check the syntax. And now I will activate. Same to same changes we will do in the third program also. Because in the third program also we did the same to same thing. Because in the third program also we have this particular case. In the second program there is no need. Because we completely use the join. Our whole data is in this internal table. We have not. This is our output internal table. So second program no changes required. Now I will do the same changes into second program also. Now I will paste the logic here. Now I will comment this. And now I will remove this also. I will check the syntax. Okay, I think I need to change. This is LWA data because the chain names are changing. Okay, I'll just keep this so that there will not be any error because names are different in both the programs. Okay, I'll just do one thing. I'll make this uncomment so that there will not be any error. I'll just make this uncomment. Here itself, I will go for the changes. LT underscore output value hash. Now I will go for base LT underscore output. I will go for bracket. And I will close this.
will see this. I think I am doing some mistake. Space LT output. Okay, we need to put space here. It's, it's done. I'll check the syntax. I forgot to put the space here. So I put the space. Now I'm acting. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered another important point. Previously, I showed you in the debugging mode, we put so much stress that I cannot use directly use the internal table with in internal table here in value expression because previous data will be overridden. Then we pass the data to work area. From work area, we appended it to internal table. But we have a solution for the same. So in that case, what is the solution? If we want to keep the previous data as it is, because that is our requirement, the previous data should not be overwritten. Then in that case, you can use base in the value expression. Whatever the internal table you are specifying with the base, with the base, it will act as the initial values for the target internal table. And this is what we want. If first record is coming, it will act as initial value for target, then new record. Suppose we have two records. Those two records will act as the initial values for the target internal table. Then we have the next record. This is what we want. So I did the changes in the first program. I did the changes in the third program. Second program, no changes required because we have simple one internal table that is your output internal table. In the next video, I will explain in the debugging mode so that you can understand we can see in the debugging mode previous data is not over data. So that's it in this video. Thank you.